So in episode eight, it's for Fergus and her journey is about finding out how she's going to take B. Smith out and then putting that plan into action. B um, arranges to meet Ali in the equipment room. That's where they've been secretly meeting each other uh, to spend some time with each other. And, uh, and Ferguson has knowledge of this and she manages to drug B, unbeknownst to B, of course, before one of these meetings. And whilst B is waiting for Ali in the equipment room, she starts to feel the effects of the drugs uh, and realizes that she has been drugged. She ends up uh, unable to, to stand, her vision is blurred, and then it, it results in her being unable to move altogether. By that stage, Ferguson has arrived. And, and she, has, um, she is completely incapacitated. Shooting that scene is one of those scenes when you read a script for the first time and you go, this is a great scene and, you, and it's a page turner. You just keep turning the pages. And then there comes a point where you have to break it down and actually make it happen. We had conversations with our department who'd already had their imaginations flowing and we investigated um, some visual effects. As, as part of the part of the gag, like how are we going to do this gag of the hand going into the deep fryer, and then the makeup took over after that point with the when the hand gets pulled out. As a, as a director, you want a, a look that's also really horrifying. It's really, she pulls the hand out of that deep fryer. You want the audience to just be gasping. And Graham, who is our stunt coordinator for that block. Um, Worked with Pamela and Danielle on the choreography. For me, it was it was basically an exercise on how to stay completely terrified, unable to move, but uh, being aware of what was going on as well. It's really important that we see it from her perspective: the terror of being trapped in your own body and not being able to do anything. And that's probably one of the more difficult scenes I've had to shoot on the show. Not so much the physical demand, but just where to pitch the performance. Uh, like I said, because she couldn't be completely unconscious or there's no drama, I think you need to have that suspense of, and, and the, the knowledge that this person is completely aware of what's going on but just cannot do anything about it. I spent a lot of time with my head under the water. We, the grips and, and our department built a big glass tank that they could put a camera underneath it so I had my, my face in the water, immersed in the water for you know, seconds at a time. When Ferguson, Pamela, just had her head, her hand gently on the back of my head. I mean, we, we had safety words. <laughs> we definitely had safety words. But it was, it was really frightening. It's, it's, it's a combination, which is what I love about filmmaking. It's when every single department and everyone comes together on this really perfect level of pitch. And then you get the results that we have, which I think is a really incredible scene.